get rid of partner and problems are solved. <laughs> That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Sophie Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this conversation is funny to me because I was talking to a young lady who had shared with me, and I shouldn't say young lady, uh, she's probably my age. Uh, well, I shouldn't even say my age. She's uh, probably a few years older than me. But the bottom line is uh, she was talking about all five of her husbands. <laughs> and so you guys know if you hear somebody talking about five husbands, uh, it don't take a genius to figure out. We know where the issue is. And then she started to talk about husband number six. And the amazing part about husband number six is he used to be husband either three or four so this guy came back for seconds now I'm not sure what she's doing but she a bad girl and she got all these guys if you know she got a track record and you keep coming back I mean you come back or in this case you you're the next guy that's getting in line to marry her and you know she's had all these marriages she's letting you know again we know where the issue is but she believes getting rid of the partners her issues are solved and as you can see it's taken her so many on number six now to, to she still hasn't realized where the real issue is but here's the key um, she and, and the reason I start off with that story is because everything I talk about is looking in the mirror and getting you together first then and only then will you be able to recognize that the person you're dating or the person that you may have already be married to is an issue because a lot of times what what we end up finding out the more research we actually do the more self-development we actually do we realize that we play a major issue in why we're having problems in our relationship matter of fact in some people's case we are the issue like in this lady's case we know chances are pretty good she's the major issue that's going on in those pro in those relationships that's why she's on number six so for me it always comes back to the same thing work on getting you together first and then again like I said we can recognize and see if the person has an issue but if we're messed up you don't know that's why I always say if you get two messed up people together why are you shocked when the relationship doesn't work out it's not supposed to Unless you have two people that realize they're messed up, but at the same time are committed to work through all the issues together, then and only then we can actually make it through. But again, if you get you together, you get to recognize quickly if they are an issue, and then we can work on seeing if they're willing to work on themselves in order to close that gap on the issue, and especially if they're red flags, which we know if it's red flags, you shouldn't be dating them to begin with. Definitely, hopefully, you didn't already marry them. Um, because I have, a, I look at it a little bit different when you have, when you are married, because I'm not a person that really believes in marriage, I mean divorce. So therefore, I'm like, do everything you can to get through and get the issues resolved if you're married. But if, but at the same time, I'm never ever going to be a person that buys into if you're being mentally or physically abused, that you should stay in that relationship. Now I know that's going to challenge some people's beliefs, especially when it comes from a spiritual perspective. Um, and I've had this conversation with people that you know that are very, you know, feel like they're very connected spiritually, and their thing is they'll tell you that. This is a person that was chosen for them. And in most cases, they're not taking responsibility for picking the partner. That's probably the only part for me that that, that kind of boggles my mind. And, and, and I just shake my head is when a person's not willing to take responsibility for the decision that they made. They're saying that that person was appointed to them by a, you know, well, we'll just call it what it is. They'll say God picked their partner. It wasn't them that picked it. And those things are, for me, it, that's, a, that's a real stumbling block for me because it's going to make it hard to get the relationship issues resolved when you're not willing to take responsibility, first off, for even making the decision to be with the person because as long as you're able to put it on someone else, 
You guys have heard me say that before. As long as I can blame others, I am a victim. How are you going to get things resolved as a victim? But when I take responsibility, then that means now I can make the adjustments and the changes that are needed in order to, uh, to move this situation in a direction in which I, I want it to go or you want it to go. So that's the biggest challenge for me, I guess, when I hear people, when you, you're blaming it and putting somebody else. Then this is not to say that you have the cultures that they appoint the person for you. I get it. Your culture is that way. I'm not here to tell people what to believe. That's why I'm personally like, let me pick my own person because I want someone that matches the direction in which I'm going, not the one that matches my parents' decision on the direction they want my life and they, but anyway, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> but you know, if your culture's that way, cool. That works for you, do it. But my thing is, as I keep saying, because in this case, it ain't about you getting you together in terms of finding the right partner because the partner's gonna be giving it to you. But you do wanna work on still getting you together to get the best you possible because that's something you should always want to do anyway, which is bring the best you to any relationship, even if it's a person that was picked for you. And I'm talking about from a humanistic perspective, not from, anyway, let me, let me leave that alone, to each his own because they'll say the same thing. They'll argue, well, if man can do it, how come, you know, uh, their guidings, their, their God can't pick the person for them. But there's no way for us to prove that that wasn't your decision. But anyway, bottom line is, if you don't make the decision for yourself, you are a victim. And therefore, it's going to be hard to make the, the correction. So anyway, the whole purpose of this particular uh, conversation was just that it's not about getting rid of your partner and your problems are solved. It's figuring out what the problems are addressing the issues and in a lot of cases the issues are you get those things resolved first then i get to see if my partner even has any problems and then we can work on and it's not trying to correct them it's on you being the best you possible and they will see that and they will start to adjust based on that because i've used the example before you can't actually change people but you can change the way they deal with you. The example would be, if you're a person that loves to argue, that loves to combat, and I know that, then the key is for me not to entertain you when you go that route. When you go to want to argue, I just go, okay. And, I'm, and just cut off the conversation. And that person's lost because the fact is they are looking for you to fire back and get into this debate with them. And because you won't, they have to figure out a different way to actually communicate with you, which is exactly what you want them to do. So anyway, so the bottom line, let's get you together. As I always talk on Relationship Monday, and I'm always talking in relationships themselves. Let's do the first thing first, which is get you together. It ain't about getting rid, which as you guys know, it's the name of my book, uh, uh, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner, because I'm telling you, it's always gonna be look in the mirror, get you together, and then your relationships will work. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Run over to ronsipfymyers.online. Again, that's ronsipfymyers.online. See the things that I got going on right now. And folks, as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Quit blaming other people and trying to take the easy way out and said, if I get rid of them, all my problems are solved and realize just what I said. They're your problems. Get those resolved first. And then we get to recognize if there's some other issues with the other person that we need to address and go from there. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. And I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.